All right. Thank you for staying with us. He is the CEO of Business Plus Services, a leading digital marketing transformation agency in Africa, focused on helping organizations and companies in both the public and private sectors. He's going to be speaking on capacity building, how to build a tech career, building a business from scratch. Mm. Welcome, Ekundayo Aigeni. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for joining you. us. I'm good. Now, to join the conversation, you can call us on 081-270-53687 or 091-390-76948 or tweet to us at TVC Connect with the hashtag YourViewTVC. Welcome once again, Ekundayo. Thank you. Your, we're talking about your profile. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's overwhelming. Overwhelming, really. And I am wondering, how is it that you took up this opportunity quite early? What was the point of interest for you? Because there are a lot of young people out there who are wanting, wondering what to do with their time, mm -hmm. and tech seems to be that space that they can take advantage of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I would say um, I happened to fall into the opportunity of early starters right. through the career path and all of that. Um, I started business while I was on campus. I remember having to sell um, diskettes back in the days. Oh, wow, wow. Before... <laughs> I can't remember I had that <laughs> So I'd done a couple of sales in my early days, and I studied computer science, uh, mathematics oh. and computer science. So, and we had this lab where you go drop your student ID card back in the days and you're just able to use the computer for one hour. So, I borrow as many people's ID card and then Ooh. for exchange of those uh, in computer time. So, people are not typically interested, but I was just going there to explore. So, by my 200, we had started a team where we were doing programming mm. and there were not so many languages then. So, it was C language and C++. So, those I beat, you know high coding languages then and we moved on and gradually post um, graduation i went to south i remember getting to the nyc camp went to the obs and on camp i went to camp with like three thousand naira and you know alawi was barely they were just making a seven thousand or so mm -hmm. at the time and i made 90k on camp you know, selling Whoa. CDs. Wait, because camp, I, that's the three, first three weeks. Yeah, first three weeks. I <laughs> so somehow, you know, they spotted me, put me in a place. Two weeks into my NYC, I'd made about 500,000 installing wow. DSTVs wow. and wow. Um, uh, DISH and all of that. So there had always been that thing that makes me want to look for right. opportunities. Mm. So I just see people and I say, okay, what can be sold here? So that moved early. And then in 2009, I was privileged to have this man who was willing to invest to start something like the property um, website thing we do now. Mm -hmm. And I was new in Lagos, you know, I came to Lagos just that same year. I struggled, you know, all the normal struggles where right? my first three days, there was no accommodation. I was staying somewhere under the bridge with those guys in Fadi because there was no place to stay. So I just had to figure out life. Mm. And then I had to print about 200 CVs and I was just distributing like flyers all around VI, you know, just going everywhere. So that in itself was enough drive. Mm. So by the time um, we were doing that in 2009, I'd started advertising on Facebook and all of that. So it gave me some level of quick insight into mm -hmm. what the whole future could look like. Mm. I remember going to meet people selling the idea of managing social media for them. And many people did not believe that was going to work mm. uh, because it was too early. It was coming too early to them. And by the time we fast forward to 2014, I'd already started working. So you were already with... thinking ahead. <laughs> exactly. Right. So mm. that opportunity to just take any window that you have, just You know, I them. can relate to the story a bit because mm. we had these people in school that were like you. And I just used to think, I will lay you. You know, and I'm just sitting here, I'm just feeling really sad that if only I could have seen Taking what possibilities there were. Now, my concern is that we have too many young Nigerian graduates bereft of how to go now. Okay. Some people, for want of maybe, you know, the bad education system now in universities, they ended up with a result that makes them unemployable. Yeah. Nobody even wants to even give them an opportunity to talk. And they feel, I met a young man recently who was thinking, let me just end this whole thing. And you're a graduate. Yeah. You don't even have belief in any possibility anymore. How do we do, what do we do with this large chunk of our youth? 
Because okay. every government person just comes and one person will sit down and say they are unemployable. And so what, what should we just send them to the to the gutters? What should we do with them? Okay. How do you help people like okay. that? So so I buffered the solution. Last week I was on Yahoo Finance and Yahoo News and all of that. And I said something there. Over the past two years, we've trained um, close to a thousand plus young people and currently have about 200 of them on the payroll, paid monthly. And the model was very simple. So the first time we went was we went to the market and just got people who were of disadvantaged background. Mm -hmm. We brought them in, about 15 of them initially, a bit 20 years. We started training using our own resource over three months. It was a lot of struggle. Uh, getting them to learn computer appreciation first, understanding what computer is this first then. There are some essential skills that we now focus on. For example, graphics is a very high demand skill. Yes. Yeah. Um, within four weeks, you can develop someone to become that efficient mm -hmm. and that effective in graphics. Another high demand skill is writing, mm -hmm. understanding how to write creative writing, skillful mm -hmm. writing. These are skills you can sell over the internet because of the current demand of the society. Mm. Most right. times we don't develop these things because we want to sell. We'll go learn things that we cannot trade over so the internet. Then it is important to understand the current demand. Mm. Exactly. Don't learn things that you can't trade. You can't yeah. trade, yeah. Mm -hmm. So another skill you need to look at is even if it's basic WordPress, how to understand how to develop website, WordPress. Mm. Do two weeks of intensive coaching on mm. that. You would learn. You can mm. do it. Um, I started by, you know, I sat down, I'd done 41 certifications across mm -hmm. board, Google, Upspot, all of that. Mm -hmm. So I'd seen spectrum of where are my demands coming from, at least to meet my basic need. So for everybody who had gone through this kind of trainings with us, we noticed they don't go short of, um, they don't go unemployed. Mm -hmm. So when you see young people around, now data is the new big thing that's yeah. how to analyze data, interpret the data, mm -hmm. use the data mining for projection, it. mining it. So once you are able to cover this scope, you are, a, you are now positioned for the future because um, from the US, for example, two years ago I was in the US and I got stranded. My card was not working, the typical Nigerian thing, you can't move <laughs> more than a particular amount on your Naira yeah. card. And I called all of those things were happening to me. So I reached out to a few guys. You know, I just went on directory close to me. And I started writing to churches that, oh, we can do graphics for you. We'll give you 35 creative for the month for X, Y, Z, for a particular value of dollar, about 500. Now, this is something they would have done with a skilled worker there, who mm. would maybe tell you $3,000. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by the time we had this conversation, I do very chunk, a uh, large chunk approach. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to about 150 churches. Mm -hmm. About 12 got back to us, you know, to me, saying that they are interested. Four did the transaction with me. Mm -hmm. and we made about $2,000. And what happened was that it was Nigerians that did the job. They got paid well. And about $2,000 was sufficient for me to also do okay. all the things I needed to do during that period. So you need to start thinking that, okay, you're a graphics person here. Can I get somebody or an organization in the US who would outsource their, wow. their uh, projects to me. Well, I know someone who does creative like, writing, for yeah. example, who makes over $50,000 mm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now, but we are, are we willing to go all out and say, okay, today, like last December, I sat down and I said, look, I want to reach out to 500 organizations in the US. Mm -hmm. And all I knew was their phone number and their emails. And I was going through that process. We've been able to engage about 20 of them to do projects with us. So you need to now put yourself under that level of pressure as a young person because most times if you're hoping you know when they say oh i'm applying for a job you hear people yeah. say oh, i just apply for 10. you've not done enough in my own you thinking mm. because when i ask can you increase your chances of winning because mm. in probability you say it's 50 50 or something mm -hmm. so if i reach out to a thousand people uh, what's my probability of sure. winning so I increase my chance of winning because mm -hmm. I reach more people. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I had some schooling in Harvard, and when I came back, I did a mail, just a blast to everybody on my LinkedIn, and I said I just came back from Harvard, and I shared my curriculum with them. From there, many, many CEOs reached out to me because they wanted the knowledge mm -hmm. I got from that place. Yes, yeah. And it was my own house rent. I was I wanted to move from a smaller apartment to a bigger apartment. Then mm -hmm. I was saying, and like about two beds, I wanted to move. That I used for my rent, and it was mm -hmm. a lot of money, but. Mm -hmm. At this, at this time now, a lot of those conversations so, have changed. Yeah, yeah so Kuntaya, what I hear, even though as important as tech is where you found yourself, 
I'm hearing a lot about your attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... The sort of person that you yeah. are. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not only what you have read or you have been unable to read. Is that you, do you have the attitude to win, to get up? So for a lot of young Nigerians growing up, and I don't put all the blame on them because I feel like they've grown up when things are a bit tough, yeah. you know, and many things, all the things that you hear every day from everyone are just complaints. So I feel like Nigeria, young Nigerians have grown up into a society of just complainers, and that's yeah. what they have learned. Mm. If you were to speak to them, where would you tell them to start, you know, towards changing an attitude and being, having an attitude of, you know, we can make it, we all can right, get before it. Before you respond to that question, let's quickly <laughs> take Jafar calling from Sue Larry. Jafar, good morning. <laughs> oh, oh. If you can do call us again. All right. Okay. okay so in my 300 level, I had an issue. Um, it was five days to closure of payment of school fees. Mm -hmm. And you know the thing in Nigeria, once you, there's late payment, the fees mm -hmm. increase. I think my school fees was about 5,000 then. I took my admission letter and I went across the road. Those guys that sell flash and all of that in front mm -hmm. of the school. Mm -hmm. And I gave them my admission letter. I said to the guy around 8 in the evening that, Give me 20 flash. I will go and sell it. Before daybreak, I sold 18. I was going from room to room in the hostels and all of that. I got my school fees <laughs> from <laughs> the profits. Now, it's that attitude that you need because Nigeria will not help you succeed. Nobody is willing to help you. Nobody is coming to help you. Just believe that for me. Government, anything, will not work for you. My parents are late, so... And there are things that... Um, that your society, even your, your friends will tell you, can you really walk? Mm. They will tell you a lot of things. There is a lot of culture for, yeah, mm. telling you, you wake up in the morning, the media, sometimes the news coming out, this person has been shot, this person is dead and mm. all of Not that. Working. Like yesterday, we had the depressing news in my class group, you know, the NECO registrar, yes, his yes. son was my classmate. So you keep thinking, okay, everything is just happening around you, things. So use that energy, convert it. Mm. to, okay, I want to succeed amidst all of this. Mm. Because if you don't succeed, you need sufficient money to even live afloat because you have to provide your own water at some point. Mm -hmm. You provide your own electricity yes. at some point, your own security. So yes. you need enough money to do this thing. So you have to exert into yourself because the disadvantage would always be there. Mm. So you can't say, oh, like the company was one of the biggest um, um, date, um, domain names in Nigeria, domain mm. and host. They are in Jos. They are mm -hmm. not in Lagos. Mm -hmm. And they host a lot. As in, I'm talking of 25,000 um, domain mm -hmm. names. Interesting. And, so, and the guy is there working with little or no demand on high skill labor. In Lagos, mm -hmm. if you want to hire somebody, you want to say maybe 70K mm -hmm. entry yeah. point or 100. That guy is paying people like 50 and they are fine. They are even happy. They are excited mm -hmm. because of the place is good. Mm -hmm. And he's been able to make enough provision for himself. If he was in Lagos, he may not get that level of success. Yes, so somehow there's no location that would favor you. Even if you go to the US tomorrow, it's not like the place is really better. You have to work harder mm. than no, here in Nigeria. Make it work for <laughs> wherever you find yeah, yourself. Let's, let's work. quickly take exactly. this caller who has been waiting. Caller from Ibadan. Caller, good morning. <coughs> Thank you for joining us. OK. Yes. Hello, good morning. Good morning, morning. Good morning. sir. Yes. Uh, I just want to find out where is Moraya? She's on a break. She's, <laughs> she's, on she's not break. here today. She's on break. She's, oh, she's on break. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. All right. Thank oh, you for your okay. contribution. That was all. <laughs> we wanted to hear about so I, want, I like that you went to the abroad dream because everybody here is the abroad yeah, yeah, it's so so usually there is this thing about going abroad everybody's excited you know i happen <laughs> to do some small schooling there so it's good it's nice you see the environment everything's working but you have to work harder than you work in nigeria and the conditions are even more stringent mm -hmm. and yeah. if you don't want to be accountable in nigeria you can't succeed there right. hmm. so those are more effective things that you need to learn there are so many things you can do here but you, can that you cannot do there, do there yeah mm -hmm. So I can come, you know, quickly say the things I say here. 80% of the people I'm talking to now may probably not verify what I'm doing. Mm. But I want them to go and verify. But there you say it this way. People are online checking what you're, you're saying. saying. Mm -hmm. So you're selling information here. Oh, uh, uh, 10 ways to do this. 
they will ask you, have you proven it? Because mm -hmm. all these people that come to do motivational speaking, right. they talk. Thank and you. <laughs> Why do things I would like to do? Things I would like to ask you. you. Okay. In all of this, what were the roadblocks that mm -hmm. you met on the way? Because it's mm -hmm. sounding like, okay, you were having no, this. Like, right? Uh, right? <laughs> and then and the other thing is, the issue on the ground now, crypto, okay. which okay. Is, a, is a major concern for a lot yes. of persons. Okay. What are, what's your take on cryptocurrency? Okay, so roadblocks. There is always roadblock. Even till this morning, there are things that didn't work. I, you know, staff will be issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you're trying to get people. People will steal from you. People will steal yeah. your clients. They would insult you. They would do. They would do things that would break it's down. You frustrate you. It's mm -hmm. normal for people to do that. That's life. Yeah. So you need to just have the ability to press on and say, look, I'm mm -hmm. going to just go through this wall, even if the thing is not working. Mm -hmm. um, I've had to, you know. As at, well, I can tell him, like maybe 10 years ago, we'll go and eat 49 and we'll tell yeah, Mama Kalaba we're coming and we'll run away. Ah, and then, Kalaba. And then yeah. in the next two weeks, we have some money and then we'll come we back, back to there. Yeah. And then, okay. <laughs> no, we use all those because you just have to keep moving, you just need to look for styles. Mm -hmm. So it's not like the, the thing was always all rosy. Mm -hmm. um, there are times when I remember I went to do a pitch to someone one day and we explained that what we're going to do, I will reach people. And the man said, You're a Yahoo boy, you know? I said, okay. I'm not. The guy chased us out of school. It like paperwork. It was a lot of. Mm. He didn't understand what we're explaining because of the whole new media thing. And then the part of crypto, um, I can tell you for free, um, crypto has come to stay, it's going to be there. Um, for me, I keep advising that understand. Because what I don't understand fully, I don't put my money. My mm. younger sister does it. She makes a lot of money from it. And I have to explain a model to her that, you know, it's a probability of winning. Mm. You're still ah. not the one controlling the effect of the market. So it's like mm -hmm. buying stocks. Mm -hmm. So ah. when the, thing, the rosy thing is rosy, take out it's the, the profit that you've made. and Because we saw it. a lot of people crying recently. Yeah, yeah. going deep and all of that. So if you've not built that system where your level of greed, you've decided I won't go beyond maybe $10,000 investment and I would make sure every day I just take $100 out as my profit. You would think, oh, the more the money, the more the, the profit. More the profit. The day the dip happens, your whole stuff will have to go down. Isn't that the same thing with Forex dealing? Those so it's similar to Forex mm -hmm. because uh, I'd had to join Binance like about a month ago to see what this thing is all about. Mm -hmm. And then I put in like maybe $500 to see how it's going up and down, you know, by the mm -hmm. deep kind of um, conversation. I don't have the full spectrum, but I've been studying. I've been, I did mathematics, so I understand statistics. Mm -hmm. I understand how projection, you look at the graph. Okay, how long has this thing been like this? Mm -hmm. What are the factors? So people can influence. Elon Musk will wake up tomorrow and tweet, and then the thing goes up. So how come you're putting your money on somebody else's uh, opinion? opinion? opinion. Uh -huh. So right. you're putting a bet out there. So mm -hmm. I would rather advise that have... The kind of money that you know if you lose that money okay. you don't have a problem and keep building on uh, it when nigeria cancelled it here mm -hmm. yeah would that have affected people who have invested in it uh, so there are many th about five ways we'll i know nigerians can get their money out and put their money in for me, I don't know about it. <laughs> and crypto, you I said there are five ways that he can advise you how to put yeah, your money and how to get your money out. We'll ask about <laughs> that after week. the show because mm -hmm. right now we need to wrap up. Mm -hmm. okay. Most thank you, thank I you, so uh, sure. Yeni, for your time. So <laughs> short, but impactful. Yeah. Yeah. The thank message you. is out there for everyone to mm. peek. Uh, thank thank you. you so much for your time, ladies. Thank you so much for hosting me. I think I should say that. Thank, Thank you for you. being our host. We'll be back tomorrow. For those who have been asking where Moraya <laughs> is, she will be back tomorrow. That's all we can take for today. Join us again tomorrow. Bye for now.